Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you have decided to join me on this journey in my bathroom. There's a reason I'm in my bathroom today. I'm getting ready to take a shower. Who has the guts to show you this reality? Hmm? Now you're thinking, Tristine, why are you telling me you're getting ready to take a shower? Well, I'm going to show you today how to effectively use the six in one ultrasonic cavitation machine. The best way to use this cavitation machine is on clean skin. So that's why I'm getting ready to take a shower because I'm going to use the cavitation machine right after the shower today. Now, typically I'm not standing up in the bathroom doing this. Normally when I'm using my machine, right after the shower, I lay on the bed and I'm watching TV. But because I'm showing you today how to use the machine, I'm not gonna do that because my husband's sleeping right now and I don't think he would appreciate that. So stay tuned. All right, here I go. Every single day you want to be like me you know you want this look huh that's right yeah come on i'm out of the shower and i'm clean but i am gonna show you a less uglier side of myself so i am gonna put some makeup on so you don't always have to look at this <laughs> So I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna show you step by step how to use the cavitation machine. Okay, so I'm back and I finally look like a normal human being, somewhat. And I just want to tell you that it's incredibly hot in my bathroom today. So you're gonna probably see some ugly sweating going on, but let's go ahead and get started. Now, I have my cavitation machine here and I'm gonna plug it in, get it ready to go. All right, so it beeped, that means that it's on. I have my Slim Extreme 4D by Eve line, and I have the product link for you in the description box below. I also have the Absonic gel, and I will use that when this dries up and I'm still in the process of using the machine. Oh. Okay, here we go. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my arms first. I'm gonna do my upper chest area, and I'm really trying to think how I can do this tactfully and not to where my boobies are showing because I don't wanna do that on YouTube. So let me just see how this goes. I'm gonna show you how I do up here and in the arms, and you can see that I'm starting to lose here now. I haven't done much of this area yet. I've been really focusing more on my tummy and my chest area. Now when I start working on this area, I will spend every day for two weeks doing that. When you're focusing on a certain area of your body, two weeks every day, five to 10 minutes. That's why you kind of still see this, but you'll see that I'm starting to lose here. I don't have those huge pouches anymore here. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm really slathering it on. Okay, I'm gonna go right here. And I wanna get a little bit under the arm, this area. Okay. Now the other thing is the machine, uh, when you're using it, be really careful because one thing that I noticed and my best friend noticed is that when you're using it, you're gonna probably end up hitting these buttons and changing your modes or whatever. So um, I wish they would put like a case over this so that when you're using it, you're not gonna you know, start hitting those buttons. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the power. I'm gonna go LED red. Then I'm going ion negative. Then I'm gonna hit the sonic three times to high. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually start here. I'm gonna go really slow and I'm putting pressure on. OK, 
Okay, and then I go back again, go up a little bit higher than I did the last time. Now see how slow I'm going. I see a lot of people on YouTube doing this. Oh yeah, this is how you do it. No, you really want to take your time. You want to go slow. So it hits all those fatty tissues and you put some pressure on. I'm gonna go back up here again now. getting in this area here, right there. Now I'm gonna go up here. See, I'm getting right in this area here, the armpit and the arm, where some of that fatty tissue just kind of bulges out and I'm not really getting that anymore, see? I'm gonna go back up here again. Now I'm a little bit up above that area, see? And I'm not gonna go over to my chest area here. I'm just gonna go back now. Now I'm gonna go backwards, okay? I'm gonna bring it up to this area right above the armpit. I'm gonna take it down just a little bit. And now I'm gonna take it, if I can do this. I'll show you how I do it here, okay? I'm gonna take it into the fatty tissues in my armpit. Yes, I am, okay? And then I sweep it down. And this is typically where I go on the side of the breast. And I'll try to show you that. Okay. So now I'm just going in all directions. I want to go from this way, then this way, then up and down. Okay. I typically go down with this. I very rarely go up like that. Very rarely. I'm always bringing it down. Okay. Now this is really hard, so I'm gonna rest my arm against the wall. <laughs> this is why it's better to do it in bed. But, you know, if you're in the bathroom doing it, that's okay too, because then you can kind of put your arm against the wall here like I'm doing here. Now, you're gonna see I'm gonna go a little bit further underneath the armpit to the side. Okay, see that? I'm gonna go further back. If I'm laying down, I can actually get it a little bit further back. And then I'm bringing it right here to this puffy part of my breast, up on the top. Now see, because I'm sweating, I'm not having to put a whole lot of lotion on. But remember, if you're not using um, gel, it will burn your skin, so just be aware of that. Okay, so that is how I do the upper arm area. Now I'm gonna show you how I do my breasts and I'm somehow gonna have to figure out how to do this because I know a lot of you have asked me, how do you do it on your breast? Don't ever put it on the nipple. So let's just go ahead and see how I do that. All right, now I'm gonna try not to show too much, but I'm gonna put a little bit of cream on. All right. Okay, and I'm gonna get up here. Okay, see, I'm gonna get, um, and then I think what I'll do is I'll just cover it like this, because that's typically what I do anyway when I'm laying on the bed. So I'm same settings. Okay, I'm going to 
Okay, see how I'm getting that? And now I'm gonna just get the upper part, bring it back up, pressure again. And that's about as far down as I'm gonna get. I don't wanna go much closer to the nipple area. Okay, so I'm gonna get this area here. I'm gonna go around this way here too. See how I get in this crook as well. I don't like big boobs and I cannot lie. Well, the other fellows, they'll probably deny, but I don't care because I don't like it, right? I know some women want the bigger boobs. I don't. All right. So I think that's about what I'm going to show you. Now, I would do the same thing underneath. So let me show you that. So now I'll show you how I do it underneath. Same settings. Okay, this is how I'm going to go underneath. I take it in and around. And again, I'm never gonna touch that nipple with this. In fact, I want to cover it. And then I bring it up around. Okay, so are we ready to start working on the belly area? I'm actually gonna start back here. And this is how I've been doing it. Okay, I start back here and I work under here. You can see I'm just doing this section here. Right? I'm not gonna slather the cream all over. I just wanna get it in the concentrated area I'm gonna be focusing on. Be right there. All right, here we go, same settings. Red light, ion negative, sonic high. I'm gonna start here, real slow. Pressure. Now, this is what I do for the pooch. I go underneath. I can't really show you a whole lot without showing too much, but I actually go right under it. If I'm laying down, it's much easier, but then I bring it back. My arm's starting to hurt here with my neuropathy. Now I'm gonna get that pouch right where it is, right? here. I'm going to bring it around this way and I'm not going all the way to the center yet because I don't have cream on there. And I'm going to do this several times. You're not going to feel anything just so you know except for the pressure that you're putting on yourself. But you're not going to feel any heat. You're not going to feel that little sonics breaking up all that fat, you're not gonna feel it. So don't be discouraged. Don't be like, I can't feel anything. I don't feel heat. I don't feel a tingling sensation. You're not going to. In this area, I'm gonna go up and down. I don't need to show you the rest. I just wanted to show you how I do this. I will then focus underneath here and up. Then I'll move from this side over. Then I'll move up. I'll take it here to the side, then I do the center up on top, over the belly button, then I go back to this side and over, and then that's typically when I do under the breast area. Okay, so I really hope that helped. I hope that answered a lot of questions. Just remember, the blue light is going to be more for your facials. So when you're using the ultraviolet blue light, that's going to be your face. And that's typically when you're going to use the ion positive too. So when you're using the blue light, it's positive. Just remember that it's going to be for facial serums, uh, lifting creams and things of that nature. And sometimes I will use a sonic and I'll use the low sonic on my face because I do kind of want to get rid of these fatty pockets on my face, and of course, the wrinkles. So the Sonic's gonna help the wrinkles get rid of some of the fatty tissues on your face and things of that nature. So that's when you're gonna use that. And I really wouldn't use too high of the Sonic on your face. Red light, 
M negative ion, ion negative. That is how you want to use that on the rest of your body. I hope this step-by-step -step procedure um, using the cavitation machine really helped you. I hope that it just will make you not feel so intimidated by this machine. For someone as old as me and my eyesight's going, it's hard for me to read that stuff. I mean, I can't. I'm usually like going, hey, Tavin, can you tell me which one's the negative and the positive? But now I've been using it so much and I know exactly where they are. But I also want to get a Sharpie and just be like, boom, negative, boom, positive. So it's smack in my face, right? So I don't use the wrong buttons again. When you're done using it, just make sure to wipe it off with a clean cloth. You can use wet or dry. Make sure to get around the edges as well. Okay, so that's nice and clean. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification because I'm still going to be updating you on this journey, especially now that I'm past my two weeks. I want to see how much more of this fat I'm going to lose and see how much of a difference it's going to keep making throughout these next few weeks as well. Also, I have a lot of other really cool videos on my channel that you might be interested in. I'm starting to tell the story of my life. And let me tell you, the struggle is real. And I have one on how my first son was conceived through statutory rape. Please feel free to watch that. It's really powerful and heartbreaking. Also, if you're looking for a good book this summer, you really want to check out my audiobook, She Is. I have an entire playlist. It is such a fun, sexy read for women. You will laugh, you will cry. I know I say it all the time, but you really should be listening to this book, people. It's so good. So please listen to my audiobook while you're sitting outside or just sitting at the beach this summer. And please help boost my channel. Anytime that you click the like or you comment below or you share, you boost my channel. You start sending me up in the ranks of YouTube. And if you're commenting and you're liking and you're sharing, you're helping me. And I appreciate all the help that I can get. That's what really helps me most is if you are sharing and liking and commenting. So I really appreciate all of you who are doing that. If you have any questions for me on the cavitation machine, please feel free to do that as well. Because as many of you know, I will respond to every single person who comments. I will answer all of your questions and I won't refer you back to a video. I may, but I will answer your question first. I will never leave you hanging and I will never tell you, go back to my video and watch. I will answer the question to the best of my knowledge and make sure that all of your questions are answered. I appreciate all of your comments. I appreciate all of you. So thank you again and I will see you next time.